We're going to be setting up a way to search a string value for a regular expression pattern and then matching the result. And if there are no results found, it's going to return back a negative one. So we're going to output that into the text area. And if the result is found, then we're going to output the value of the index of where it is found. So let's refresh and we click it. So we're turning back a index value of six. So this is the first matched occurrence. We're also adding in the I flag, which is going to allow us to match. Doesn't matter regardless of the case of the letters. So if the pattern is not matched, it's going to move to the second available one that's found. And if there are no matching results for this particular regular expression, then the result is that we're going to output not found in the string. And that's going to be the result that's outputting depending on the condition for the match of the regular expression. We have our input string and I've updated the text area with the input string. Also the regular expression is looking for the word the string love and it's going to be replacing all of those. We've got the text area where we're updating it with the string value, selected all the page elements so that we can create the interaction using JavaScript. There's an event listener added to the button. So when the button is clicked, it runs the content with the function within the event. String is going to be collecting the content that's as the event is clicked from the text area. So using the search method, which allows us to search a match within a string value and then return back a result. So this is going to be the returned value using search. And then first we need to specify what we're searching. So that's within the string, which is coming from the text area and use the string method search and then the pattern that we're going to be searching. So this is going to be where we're using the regular expression. And for now, I'm going to output the result into the console so that we can take a look closer look at what we get returned back. Notice that the word love is occurring twice within the regular expression. So we can do a checker and we see that it gets returned back as a value of six. Let's update this and add in a global flag to the regular expression. And we still get only the first match that was found and that's returning back the index value of the first match. So if this match is not found, so let's update the string values. So we don't have the match and what gets returned back is a value of negative one. So if negative one is returned, then that particular result is not found. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add in a condition. So if rep or the response is equal to negative one, then we're gonna return back a value within the response area. And I'm gonna update it as text content, result not found. And we can also use the back ticks, so the template literals. And let's update this, the value that we're searching for. And the value that we're searching for was within the regular expression. So let's put the regular expression within the text area. So that's if it's negative one. And if it is found, result found, and then the location of where it's found at index value, and specify the index value of where it's found, and that's gonna be contained within the REP, the returned result. So there we've got the result and the regular expression. So let's just output as a regular string, found at and the index value. Let's update the first one so we don't find it within the first result. And there we're finding it within the index value of 23. And if we update the string values so that we're not finding any, then that's just gonna return back a value that it wasn't found and we're returning back the response of negative one. So that's how we can use the regular expression in order to check and return back results within the string. You can also update this. So if you wanted to search for an uppercase, so right now it's not gonna find the result because it's being case sensitive. So in order to update the case, you can use the I flag within the results. And so this is gonna find the result even if the case is not with what we've got within the pattern, matching it regardless of the case. The global flag isn't gonna matter because it's only gonna be returning back the first found result. And that's how you can use the search and the regular expression within JavaScript.